The CV-90 Mjolnir represents a modern self-propelled mortar system with a caliber of 120 mm. This system was developed by BAE Systems Haglunds in Sweden. It incorporates a newly designed Mjolnir turret equipped with two 120 mm mortars, mounted on the chassis of the CV-90 infantry fighting vehicle. The name Mjolnir draws inspiration from Norse mythology, referring to the mighty hammer of the god Thor, renowned for its ability to move mountains. The Swedish military has embraced this amalgamation of the Mjolnir turret and the CV-90 chassis, with a production contract signed for 40 units of this artillery system in 2016. The delivery of these systems to the Swedish military commenced in 2019 and was originally scheduled to conclude in 2020. In Sweden, it is known as the Granite Kastar Panzer Band Van 90, or GRKPBV 90, and it will be deployed within mechanized battalions to enhance indirect fire support capabilities. Over a decade ago, BAE Systems Haglunds introduced the Amos Mortar System, featuring two 120mm breech-loaded mortars. While the Swedish military procured two Amos systems mounted on the CV-90 chassis, subsequent orders did not materialize. The Mjolnir represents another endeavor to create a close support weapon with rapid firing capabilities, albeit with a simpler design compared to its predecessor, the Amos. Similar to the Amos turret, the Mjolnir turret can be integrated onto other suitable tracked or wheeled armored vehicles. The Mjolnir turret is armed with two 120mm muzzle-loaded mortars. Loading these mortars involves a mechanical system, though the process is partially automated and necessitates manual labor. The loader operates from within the armor-protected environment. The system boasts an impressive maximum firing rate of 16 shells per minute, with a sustained firing rate of 6 shells per minute. The artillery system is compatible with standard 120mm mortar ammunition as well as smart guided ammunition, including the Swedish Strix precision guided munitions. Standard shells have a maximum range of up to 9 km, while extended range shells can reach distances of 13 km. The Strix guided munitions possess a range of 5 km. The vehicle can store a total of 104 mortar shells, with 56 shells stored in the turret bustle and an additional 48 shells inside the hull. The mortars can be elevated to an angle of plus 85 degrees, although turret traverse appears to be limited to 60 degrees. Initially, the Mjolnir turret provides protection against 7.62 by 39 mm armor-piercing rounds and artillery shell splinters. However, the design allows for the addition of an armor kit to achieve a higher level of protection. Enhanced protection is offered as an optional feature, with turret weight varying between 6 to 8.1 tons depending on the chosen level of protection. The hull is constructed from welded steel armor. The frontal section of the turret can withstand hits from 30mm armor-piercing rounds, typical of older Russian infantry fighting vehicles and armored combat vehicles. All-around hull protection is rated against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds, and the vehicle can withstand mine blasts equivalent to 10 kg of TNT. Optional ceramic armor can be added to achieve all-around protection against 30mm armor-piercing rounds, while also enhancing defense against explosions and improvised explosive devices IEDs. The vehicle's interior is lined with a Kevlar liner to mitigate spalling. The system boasts rapid reaction and redeployment times, taking less than 2 minutes to begin firing and less than 1 minute to exit the firing position. These swift reaction and redeployment capabilities are crucial in modern combat scenarios, where artillery radars and counter-battery systems are prevalent. The CV-90 Mjolnir prototype did not feature defensive weaponry, however, provisions can be made for a roof-mounted machine gun or a remotely controlled weapon station. Operation of the fire support vehicle requires a crew of three, comprising a commander, loader, and driver. Powering the CV-90 is a Scania DS-14 diesel engine generating 550 horsepower. The vehicle is capable of amphibious operation with appropriate preparations.